Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. We're back again with a new game, Expeditions Rome. I actually haven't played any of the other Expeditions games, and consequently, I ignored the rollout for this because I thought it was a pure strategy game. But when I said that we were going to be playing Mass Effect 2 on this channel, a bunch of people mentioned this game and said I should check it out. So I figured we'll go ahead and give it a whirl for one or two episodes. If you enjoy this and want to see more and possibly a full playthrough on the channel, make sure that you leave a like, that you comment, and I'll probably release a poll on the channel sometime Monday to see whether or not this is something that people would want to have. Um, I've decided that on the channel from here on out, we're going to run two playthroughs at a time. One for older game and then one for newer game such as this. So this could actually be the newer game that we go ahead and start playing now. Or we could choose something else that's come out within the past couple of years like Wasteland 3, The Baldur's Gate 3, Early Release, stuff like that. Whatever the channel wants to do. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive in and see what Expeditions Rome is like. New game. Absolutely barbaric. Barbarian originally meant anyone who does not speak Greek. In the year of Lucius Licinius Lucullus, Rome was prosecuting several wars of self-defense, most notably in Greece, where Lucullus himself was commanding the legions. With everyone's gaze directed at the provinces, few could have known that a seemingly inauspicious event in Rome would become the central fulcrum around which the fate of the Republic would turn. The paterfamilias of a venerable patrician house had passed away unexpectedly, and a senator by the name of Witellius Skyewola had made a bid for the hand of his eldest child. His widow alone believed that Skyewola had poisoned her husband and now strove to take his place and claim his property through marriage. Acting in secret, the widow arranged for her youngest child to be taken out of their villa in the dead of night and smuggled out of Rome. Okay, so we are going to be playing as a woman during this playthrough because this game, from what I've heard, sticks to Roman culture during that time and that women are not as well regarded and uh, certainly did not have anything to do with the military. And there's a lot of reactivity to that. And I want to see whether or not they've done a good job of it in the game so i know that women are not given first names whereas if i was playing as a man we'd be able to fill that out family name do they have it furia was it furia or fabia the uh hit man that tony soprano brought back from italy i think he was furia we'll go with furious sounds like furious we'll, we'll work with that um, nickname. Tuberta, Kana. Why can't I? Oh, 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 I can fold this in myself. Ooh. I didn't know I could do that. Oh, I wanted to do Bloody Mary, but it's got to be one word. What's a famous... What's a nickname of a famous barbaric woman? Hmm. Drawing a blank for right now. We'll come back to that. We'll circle back. Um, portraits. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> she looks mix mischievous. Ah, uh, tomboyish. Sinister. Ooh, sexy. Hmm, I think I'll go with this. I want to play a really, really charismatic person. So she kind of seems to fit that bill. Can I get closer? I can't get closer. Look at me. Look at me. What is going on with that face? I don't think I'm a fan. Hey, I could change skin color? Oh, snap. They'll let you be black? <laughs> okay, that's... Holy shit, the portrait changed. The portrait changes with your skin color. That's wild. Wow! Oh man, I think we might have to go ahead and play this. I might skip the poll. 
Holy smokes, I love this. Okay, I I completely 100% know that this is not historically accurate in any way, shape, form, or fashion, but I'm happy. <laughs> I can't speak for anybody else, but I'm happy right now. Uh, no, no, you look like a kid. Hmm, no, because you don't look like you're good in a fight. That looks alternative, I'm good. No, you look like pure politician. You look like a rogue, possible. See, I don't like the dark-skinned version of her. Hmm. I think I like her. Because she's got that armor on, so it looks like she could definitely fight and hold her own. But it doesn't look like she's a complete dumb barbarian like she still might have some charisma just her own brutish version of charisma yeah we're gonna go with her okay now with the dark skin stop moving your head around lady hmm too too happy you know what that looks a little little better we'll go with that um loose what are the other ones braided bun i'm not feeling that Single braid. Mm. Mm. Nah. Yeah, we're going to go with loose. We'll keep it loose. Um, hair color black. I'm good with... Ooh, or she could be a redhead. Ah, that doesn't look quite right. Sounded good. Oh, you know what? The photo's brown. I guess we'll go with light... Is that light brown or auburn? Looks more auburn. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go with that. Try to match her as best we can. And then let's see. This is average. Tall. Very tall. Short. Very short. We're gonna go with average. She's not a Mary Sue. She had to, she worked hard to get what she's got. Okay, uh, nickname. I know there's a great nickname that I can give this woman that I haven't thought of. I, I apologize so much. Didn't know that we would have this option of character creation. Famous nickname. There's somebody I'm not thinking of. To do to do more. No, I don't. I want a warrior nickname. You know what? You know what we do in honor of Dragon Age. Herald. The Herald of Andraste. Okay. Um, I think I got everything I want. There we go. Confirm. What's next? Ooh. Each of these three perks unlocks unique dialogue options to persuade other people in different situations. Think about what kind of character you want to role play and choose your rhetorical style accordingly. During the story, you may get a chance to master a second technique. Oh, goody. Ethos, the art of using the power of your authority or your abilities to get your way. Logos, the art of convincing someone with sound logical arguments and reasoning. Pathos, the art of winning people over using stirring rhetoric or emotional manipulation. Hmm, Augustus, easy. The heir of Caesar became the first emperor of Rome. Augustus started his career with an enormous fortune and many allies. On this setting, you will have what you need to succeed and your mistakes will not be punished harshly. Kaisar Normal, a legendary general and politician, Kaisar conquered Gaul and nearly became Emperor of Rome before his political opponents assassinated him. If you choose this setting, you will be challenged, but you are likely to rise to greatness. Pompeius, hard, considered one of the greatest commanders of his time. Pompeius was a friend of Kaisar's who opposed him in a bloody civil war. Kaisar defeated him and he fled to Egypt where he was killed. On this setting, your difficulties will be great, but your victories all the sweeter. Crassus, insane. Though he was the wealthiest man in Rome, Crassus was always jealous of the military success of his peers. This drove him to lead an invasion of Parthia, where he was soundly defeated and executed. If you choose this setting, you will be shown no mercy, and you may not prevail. Interesting. We're definitely going to be keeping things at normal. Might even go down to easy, or if I feel like I'm just steamrolling everybody I come across, Doubtful, but possible. We'll bump things up to hard. Um, combat death. Is that permadeath? It is. Iron Man, only one save. It is. Not interested in that right now. Maybe on a second playthrough. Let's go ahead and move forward. 
Hmm, the three names. So Roman's first name is used by his closest friends. His middle name is his family name. His last name is sort of nicknamed commonly used by Did others. Did you hear me, Domina? Your body is surely present, but your mind seems somewhere else. Why did it let me choose a class? Interesting. I guess that comes later on down the line. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, old friend. I guess I'm still thinking about what happened. Our departure was very sudden, I know. But do not dwell on the past. Better to focus on what's coming at you. I asked the Triarchus how close we are to Lesbos, but uh, he would not give me a straight answer. I know this voice. I definitely know this voice. I'm sorry, I can't move forward. Is that Duncan? I think that's Duncan from Dragon Age. Yeah, I think it is. Interesting. He still just claims we are close to our destination? Indeed. In his defense, there are many islands on this sea, and they mostly look the same. Will you check with the Triarchus? Hopefully he will give you a clearer answer. He told me his name is Geminus. You just need to use a little more charm. Make him like you. I'll see if I can tease some information out of him. You do have a way of speaking to people's emotions. I'm sure he'll be more helpful to you. You should also go and thank Quintus Aquilinus. I do believe he saved our lives with his timely appearance at the villa. There are so few passengers on this galley. Your mother paid Geminus handsomely to set off in great haste under cover of night. Two others did board with us, also bound for Lesbos. Young Gaius has been pacing impatiently over there, wearing grooves into the deck. There was a gladiator too, but I don't know where he went. We left so quickly, my mother and sister. Do not worry. The Witellius brothers have no reason to do them any harm. Besides, you cannot save them by worrying. Focus on the task ahead. Thank you for coming with me, Cineros. Thank you for bringing me along. It will be wonderful to see my homeland again. Let's see if Geminus knows where we are. The quest markers point you towards your mandatory objectives and your optional objectives. Quest markers are only displayed for the currently tracked quest. When you have more than one quest, you can change which ones you're tracking from the quest menu. Use WASD to pan the camera so you can see your objective if needed. You can also rotate the camera with the middle mouse button. Press F to make the camera follow your character again. Do 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 do. Shoo do. Okay. Quick save. Can't talk to him. Can't talk you to found you. your sea legs quickly, Domina. I did indeed. Hey, I can talk to you, so we will. You handle the sea better than most. I'm glad. Centurio, I want to thank you for your timely arrival at my villa. The timing was fortunate, but there is no need to thank me. The consul sent me to get you. Please, call me Kaiser, if it's not too familiar. Not Aquilinus? My subordinates call me Kenturio. My superiors call me Aquilinus. My friends call me Kaiser. Then you can call me Harold. With all due respect, I'd better not. Can we go over the plan? Our departure was far too hasty to discuss our course of action. Ah, she did not keep you apprised. Your mother has secretly been making arrangements with the Consul. You will, of course, not participate in the war in any capacity. You are a woman. I am well aware of that. Why should I not experience adventure? I can fight better than most of your men. That is completely out of the question. One word of advice. I know Lucullus is a friend of your family, but remember, he is the Consul, elected by the people to rule all of Rome. It's best if you don't act too familiar with him in front of his men. What is your relationship with Lucullus? For many years, I was the Primus Pellis of Legio Prima Italica, which he commands. He needed someone he could trust to get you out of Rome and keep you safe. Will you be returning to your position when we reach Lesbos? That position has already been filled by one of my Centuriones. A good man, easily up to the task. My job now is to watch your back and help you settle into your new life. I'm honored to have you with me. Happy to be at your service. Have you talked to any of the other passengers? I had a brief talk with that gladiator who boarded before us, just to make sure he won't give us any trouble. He seems to have vanished, though. The young man over there, Gaius, 
He's apparently the nephew of the other consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotta. He's here to become a tribunus, a mostly ornamental position intended for young patricians to learn about military affairs. I should talk to the Triarchus. All right. Come on now. I can't talk to you. I heard she's running from a senator who is dead. Shh, keep your voice down. <laughs> Salve. I don't believe we have been properly introduced. My name is Furia Herald. It is a pleasure. I am Gaius Julius Caesar. Caesar. See, I always go with Kaiser from uh, Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> well met. This is all quite new to me. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. But keep in mind, I'm not the most experienced soldier either. Where are you from? I was born in Rome, but they say my family is from Alba Longa. Why did you join the Legion? That's a long story, my friend. Suffice to say, the powers that be are not fond of me. I have decided that staying in Rome could be, shall we say, hazardous to my health. Ooh. How many wars did you fight in? To be honest, this will be my first proper battle. I did study a lot, though, and therefore I am well versed in matters of strategy and tactics. This is my first military assignment. Do you have any advice? <clears throat> if you don't play an important part, you will be torn apart. My father used to say, I guess that was his way of telling me to be brave and hopefully not stupid. <laughs> we can tell you haven't been in the fight. Vale, guys. We shall talk later. Okay. You two can't talk to you either. What is he looking for? He's been like this all morning. Hey, why is there an exclamation point here? Quest. Oh. Interesting. Oh, so this is just uh, where you manage. Ooh, denarii. The denarius is the Roman currency used to build upgrades and buy legion items. Slaves are used to construct and staff buildings in your legion forts. Slaves that are designed to an upgrade will no longer be available as a resource. I have a bunch of slaves? Yeesh, I don't know how I feel about that. Rations. Rations are used to nourish your party in legions. Each praetorium consumes one ration every eight hours. Medicine. Medicine is used to treat injured Praetorians while you travel. Keep your medicine well stocked or your wounds may fester. And I cannot do any party management right now. Can I save? I can save. Mm -hmm. Saw they. Geminus, wasn't it? What? Yes, Geminus. So, uh, I'm a little preoccupied. It's a very fine galley you have here. I will almost be sad to step off it when we reach Lesbos. Do you have our destination in sight? Ah, oh, thank you. I work hard to keep her in good condition. We should be at our destination just after midday, so please enjoy the rest of your journey. Wait. What is it? A ship. They're headed straight towards us. They're gonna ram. Get your father's weapons. Let's see if you're as formidable a woman as Lucullus said. Ooh. Centurio. Form up! Let's get these pirates off our ship! Mm hmm Before combat preparation phase. Before combat begins, you will often have time to organize your Praetorians into a formation within an area highlighted in blue. Simply click one of your Praetorians, then click where you want to place them. It's generally a good idea to put your heavy infantry in front and your archers to support behind them. When you're ready, click the end turn button or press end to begin. Okay. You can stay here. I guess you can stay here. Actually, no. You go down here. You come ordering characters. During combat, characters can take actions in any order. For example, you could move a ranged character if you hex his toward an enemy, shoot, and then move back again. You are also free to swap between characters during your turn. For example, 
One character can move, another character can move and attack, and then the first character can then attack as well. You can even move or attack with a character while another character is still moving. Try it out. That is awesome. Okay. Move you here. You, I guess a little bit. We don't want, I don't want you crazy far back. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Um. Okay, so they can't actually take actions yet. So, here. Okay, so I get to go first, attacking. To attack an enemy, first select which skill to use. Each skill cannot be used more than once per turn. Many skills require your action point to use, and some have limited charges per encounter. Okay. Uh, so you have aim shot applies harry to enemies negative 10 all resistance negative 25 percent to damage negative 50 percent uh movement with a crippled shot rpg staple interrupt active skill knock an arrow and wait for an enemy to move within 120 degree cone in front of you then shoot that enemy lies interrupting to self character will shoot the first enemy who moves into their vision cone interesting so it's like overwatch from the banner saga except you only hit one enemy okay okay all right um i like that let's kick it off status effects any status effect applied to a character will show up in their tooltip the number indicates the remaining duration in combat rounds, whilst the bars indicate how severe the effect is. Status effects can be positive, negative, or neutral. To get more information about a status effect, press the C status effects key to open a list of the statuses currently affecting a character. Okay. So if I highlight over you. No, no, no. You're the one who's affected. Okay. And then I go to E. Untrained, incapacitating this character will restore the action point of the attacker. Interesting. Okay. Um, bow guy is done for. Shield guy, where do I want you? You can, I guess, come up here. And do I want you to attack? Actually, no. Nah. Yeah, might as well, actually, now I think about it here. Yeah. Get untrained. Yep, I read about that. Remember that any given skill can only be used once per turn, and action points cannot be saved for the next turn. Try to finish off any untrained enemy with a character who will still have a skill left to use in that same turn. So this is blacked out because we used this. It took uh, its action point. Okay, so even if you have, that's what I just said. That's what they just said. Even if you have another action point, you can't just use the same skill twice in a row. But I could use a different skill like shield push if I wanted to. Or apply strong to self. For each stack, 25% of the character's shield strength maximum is restored at the beginning of their turn. One stack is lost every time the shield takes a hit. Okay, that's interesting. But this, okay, so this does do bludgeoning damage and it pushes the target away. So I guess we'll go deeper. And, yep. Hey, a little bit more. Now, support guy. What's up with you? Oh, you know what? Um. So you've got Custom Strike Flies Weekend reach armor shred i don't think any of these guys have armor that i need to worry about and then logistics applies coordinated plus two movement maximum oh and i think it applies to the friends to random friends as well so I actually use this while you're back here yep excellent okay now all these guys are nice and coordinated um yeah, I guess he might as well get up closer, right? I really want to, because the shield guy takes the brunt of all of them, hopefully. But he might attack 
Attack him, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We can deal with it. There we go. And now finally she can step up. What do you have? This affects multiple targets. Two to five slashing damage. And we have a punching attack we can use as well. If we had enough attack points. We don't though, so we'll just... Ooh, actually. The only problem with this is it blocks off this guy. Who might have been able to help otherwise. Oh well, see how this goes. Bing! Two. Uh-huh. So what are you gonna do? Uh, he's just gonna chill. Oh, the archer. Ooh, that's ugly. Oh, and then she gets doubled up for him. Oh. I almost felt that. Mm -hmm. Wow. More damage. He's just getting, just getting hit up, fellas. Wow. And he's just getting massacred back there. Ooh. This is just... Where's that gladiator who boarded with us? Up there. Oh! Never underestimate the value of an impressive entrance. That was impressive. I appreciate you, sir. All right. Okay, he's nice and surrounded. So let's... Actually, no, we want to start with him. Affects multiple targets. Also hits any enemy on the target's left for half damage. So do that. Attack here. There we go. And then the archer. Step all the way up. Yeah, I guess we'll go here. Actually, one thing at a time. First. 47, 47, either way. First, deal with you. Excellent. That gave me an additional attack uh, action point. And actually, you know what? I'm going to instead, I could use this interrupt overwatch thing, but I'm going to use it to cut down some on attacking our medic and whatnot. Ooh, he did not. He felt that arrow in his back. You see the way he jumped up? He did not appreciate that at all. All right. Um, actually, he's 47. Four seven with armor shred. How much damage does she do? Two to five. So he's the one who we really want getting two attacks. So you can go here. Excellent. Action restored. Step up. And then do another one. What? In the hell? That thing. I've lived other lives before this one. If you move out of a hex that is adjacent to an enemy welding a melee weapon, they will get an attack of opportunity. Watch for a red arrow along your path to see if you'll get attacked. Each character can make one attack of opportunity per round, per turn. But what does that have to do with it? I didn't incur an attack of opportunity by moving there. And... I'm so confused. I don't understand. Like, I went there and I just attacked. Why did that incur an attack of opportunity? All right, whatever. Um, she needs help, seriously. And But I don't have anything, right? Yeah. It doesn't seem like it, at least, unless there's something I just don't understand about the mechanics. Regardless, she can go ahead and get a hit on this guy. Ooh, oh, okay, so since she has a free hand, she gets the unarmed skill. And she can just punch this guy to death. That really works for me. Ooh, that's a good way to get your first uh, first skill, babe. Let's go. Let's get it. Do some more. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. All right, you. What you got going on? Make a quick offhand attack at half damage, which does not cost an action point if you have three focus. You can also generate one focus with a precise stab, and it cannot be blocked or resisted. He can generate two focus by making two attacks each at half of normal damage. Huh. Okay. And we've got this guy here, and then we've got this guy over here. I wonder... 
Could we? Let's try this out because I want to see now. Can I? Oh, flank. Flank is a thing here. What does that mean? All resistances are reduced to zero. Does that mean two? Um, well, what triggers flank? Does that mean two people are attacking you? Is that all that's required? Because neither one of us. Well, no, you've got a guy behind him on here, too. I don't know. I have to check that out. Okay. Um, you've got two health left. Oh, I don't even know if you're. Oh, okay, you are Jim. Okay. So, yeah, we'll do this. Excellent. You're going down. And then, hey, we are able to go right over here and attack this guy as well. And it gives us two attacks. So, both of the attacks will go towards you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gave you exactly what you deserve. And now, if buddies are coming up. What was that? Wasn't he already down? What you hit him for? Whatever. Oh, so much damage. So much damage. Okay. She should not be the first person moving here. In fact, we'll start with you. Um, Archer, are you really all the way back there? Good lord, bro. Um, um, 93% chance. Here, hold on. Maybe he just needs to get up a little bit further. Cannot see the target. Ah, oh, it screwed that up. All right, I guess I'll one to two health damage. No, we don't want to do that. Here, move over this way. Is that no? That don't block him. There we go. Four to seven damage. Four to seven damage. One two. Okay. So this little mid range works for him. Hey, and this guy is almost dead. Does that help? Yeah, it does. Here, go ahead, take it. There we go. And then we're also going to go ahead and do this. Hey, look at that. All right. You step up. Uh, this is as far as he can make it. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, go here. Fine. Hey, two left. That's cool. Um... He'll take this one. Oh, and he's got this one too. Excellent. So we'll attack you. And I don't think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, he wasn't. Um, he wasn't a civilian or whatever. Okay, fine. Whatever. Eight, twelve. You're gonna go down quicker, so might as well start with you. Quick offhand. There we go. Ooh, that looked <laughs> that looked especially vicious. All right, medic or support or whatever the heck you are. Um, I think you're the medic character though. Let's see. I guess you'll start over. Start over here. This is this guy. Do do four to seven. Ooh, look, it looks like he just chopped you in the throat, bro. I know you didn't appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get him started going towards this place. You probably need to move up a little bit as well, so you'll be ready. Um, he's good. Oh, the guy's good. You. Can you get up to the archer? I can. All right. Doop, 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 even though we really don't have as much health as we could use. And there we go. And that's the best we can do right now. Friendly turn. Yep. Oh. Okay, so it's useful having an attack of opportunity. They will go ahead and still move, even if they know you'll get a free shot. That's interesting to keep in mind. Uh, you know what? Probably shouldn't have moved first, but it's fine. We're already here. Um, but one. Nah. He can make use of more. I think this is the last of them. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. All right. 
So he is not flanked right now. So even though they're, so it's not just two people attacking. Unless, yeah, let's see this. What happens if this guy comes over here? Now he's flanked. So is it three people attacking him? Maybe. How much health do you have? Six. Okay. Um, let's start with you. Two attacks. This is all too easy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Interesting. And all of us are uninjured. That's good. Better Neptune's asshole, barbarians. <sighs> the Triacus run us straight into the pirate ambush, Spearman. Allow me to execute him right here and right now. This traitor must be working with them. Hmm, that might be so, but I, if he is working with them, then I want to interrogate and get more information. So we're gonna choose no. Um, we're sailing to join a war against pirates. It's not so surprising that we should be attacked by pirates on our way. Don't be naive. This was no random attack. They were out for blood. It is quite unusual for pirates to attack any ship, let alone a heavily armed Roman galley. They prefer to attack lightly defended coastal towns instead. It's less risky and more profitable. Well, let's go talk to the man. Nobody asks you, Kaiser. Keep your mouth closed. About decisions that I make, I'm in charge here. Ooh! Okay, so we're moving the whole party now. Excellent. What? And now we're only moving one of them. What just happened? Why is it that when I went out? Oh, but then, oh, okay. So because I'm getting close to the marker and I'm the one, I'm the decision maker. Okay, sure. All right, here we go. Oh, actually, wait a minute. So, all right. So it looks like we do not loot bodies in this game. Because this is nothing is coming up when I press alt or anything like that either. So let's go. What do you have to Geminus, say to yourself? You steered us into a trap. What do you have to say for yourself? I had nothing to do with it. I promise. They came out of nowhere. Silence. You utter nonsense. By Mars, it is the sea. How can anyone come from Norway? We cannot execute a man based on no evidence. Besides, we need our Triarchus to make it safely ashore. Huh. What do you say, kid? What do you think we should do? Why are you asking me? You are the premise. This kind of decision is your responsibility. I'm just a humble Cantorio, albeit a particularly well-dressed one. Nicholas has greater plans for you. Your father's dead. The time to rely on others to make difficult decisions for you is gone. Ooh. <laughs> Why do you want him dead, Gladiator? We are close to our destination, and we can reach it without him. If there is a possibility that he is working with the enemy, we cannot risk to let him live. Mercy, doubt, hesitation. These are all openings that the enemy can exploit to kill you. This man's value to us is far less than the threat he may pose. Those scars in his skull are gnarly. <laughs> Very well done. Guys, if parties don't attack, if pirates don't attack ships as you say, why would these ones make an exception? We are, many of us, important people on our way to join the action against Lesbos. Is it not conceivable that the rebels heard of us? The Kingdom of Pontus is known to sponsor pirates, to harass and weaken Rome. I do not believe we have any reason to suspect our Triarchus of colluding with them. What's done is done. There's nothing to gain from executing the Triarchus now. Very well. We shall spare his life. But remember, Mercy is a luxury you will not always be able to afford. Perhaps. But in this case, we certainly can't afford to lose our Triarchus. We still have to reach Lesbos. A wise choice, my friend. Killing the Triarchus of our ship in the middle of the sea would have been... inconvenient. Indeed. 
Thank you. <laughs> if you ever again need the help of a skilled navigator, I am at your service. Hmm. Rowers, up the tempo! And keep your eyes open. I pissed people off. The Mararian Legion, a Roman legion, consisted of 4,800 fighting men and 1,200 servants. Oh! Okay! So now, I can choose my class. So what is it? You can be a princeps. Heavy armor and sturdy tower shields give Rome's frontline infantry unparalleled survivability. The princeps is the most straightforward class to play. It's the tank. I'm good. We already got a tank. Right. Isn't that one guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's the tank. Seems like he's already good with us. I'm not going to play him. What's this? Veles, the speed and unpredictability of light infantry allows it to cause great chaos among enemy ranks. Oh, this is that, um... Wait, can you, can you see more of your skills? Or you can only choose a starting skill. It doesn't let you see, like, um... The whole skill line? Interesting. But, class weapon dagger can be dual wielded. This has got to be the... The gladiator, right? This is the gladiator guy who may not like me because I plan to be peaceful. So we'll see how this goes. Sagittarius, the ability to strike at a distance makes archers very flexible, hampered only by shields, which deflect their arrows. Interesting. Okay, so that's Kaiser. Something tells me he's probably not a party member. So I might need somebody with a bow and arrow. Maybe that should be me. Or... Triarius. The third line of a Roman legion can reduce the effectiveness of enemies and improve the performance of their allies. Medic, flag bearers, destroyers. Oh, that's right. I didn't. Defenders, vanguards, and veterans. Assassins, duelists, and brawlers. Marksmen, hunters, and snipers. Okay, so. So now I see what they were saying. So I believe one of my party members, the one with the white beard, is already a medic. But flag bearers have some really, really nice buffs that affect your entire party. So if I wanted to keep him as a medic, but still get access to those buffs, I would have to take a flag bearer. Usually when I play these type of games, I like being the bow and arrow person. I think you get five party members. I think, I think you get five party members and that all of the classes are represented by them. So I don't think I have to choose a bow person just to make sure I have a bow person. So yeah, we're gonna go with Triaris. I also like the idea of being a woman at the front of <laughs> this military that does not approve of women being in positions of leadership, holding a spear and fighting better than my allies and rallying my allies to victory. This all works for me. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, okay. Oh, 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 okay. So he does already have medic abilities. Logistics is a medic ability. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, he's definitely the medic of the group. So class weapons, pike and staff, two-handed weapons, shred armor. Cool. Um, so I was going to do flag bear, right? Which causes all my allies to do plus 25% damage. That's wild. Okay. And this one helps me do more damage. I'll start on that sooner or later, probably. But yeah, we're going to do flag bear. There we go. Interesting. And confirm. Oh. Leave any of your hands empty to gain access to these skills. I like the art and the photos that they show while the loading is happening. And the load screens are super quick. Act 1, Asia Minor, 1st Century BC. Gentlemen, Domina. Welcome to Lesbos, the Pearl of the Mediterranean. <laughs> An ugly nest of pirates. <laughs> An impenetrable fortress of pirates, more like. 
With an infinite food supply thanks to the strength of their fleet. We shall find a way to limit this infinite supply then. You think like an Imperator, Gaius? All right, people. This is Lucullus's war camp, the heart of our operations in this territory. You have been seaborne for a long time now. I suggest you walk it off. See the things you have to see, and meet the people you have to meet. The Consul waits in the command tent. Don't be too late if you don't want to see him angry. A word. Shall I leave you alone, Domini? Stay, Zoe. Your help might be necessary. You've just told me not to be late. Is this your way of testing me? You'll be tested on more occasions than you can imagine. But this is not one of those. I want to make sure we're on the same page. You're not here to fight. Hmm. Just curious about the expectation. She already knows inside that she's going to be joining the ward. No need to bicker with him about it. What is expected of me then? Women come and go. It is not so uncommon for officers to be visited by friends or family. What the Canturio is trying to say is that perhaps it is wiser to keep a low profile for the time being. That's fine. I understand and see what you're trying to say. Thank you for your concern. Of course. No need to be abrasive about it. She knows their perspectives. She'll have an opportunity to prove herself in due time. Patience in and of itself is a skill. Oh, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. He said, don't be late. Is there a map? There is not a map. How, oh, 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 I have a quest marker. How long are they going to keep us here? It's driving me crazy, too. I came here to kick my three to Tizzy's ass, not to sit on the beach day in and day out waiting for something to happen. Mithra de Davy de Davies? Saw a gripper <laughs> harassing that old service with the limp again. That small dicked bully. Did you tell the Prefectus? He won't do anything about it. A gripper is connected back home. One day that man is going to fall out of a watchtower to his death. It'll be tragic. Don't joke about that kind of thing. <laughs> All right. What's going on here? This is not going to work, as long as the Rebels keep receiving supplies by sea. We will need to cut their supply lines. It's an operation for our occulta speculatoris. Hmm, remain silent. Well, don't just stand there like a plant. Come on in. By Jupiter. You are just as beautiful as your mother. This is the unique young woman I was telling hmm. you about, Thermos. I don't like how that started. What is quick load? Quick load is F9. Unique, you Can say. Can you quick load in the middle of a conversation? Look, I understand you, you feel indebted to her far. Mithridaticism is the practice of protecting oneself against a poison by gradually self-administering non-lethal amounts. Fascinating. I'm curious. This is not going to work. We will need to cut their supply lines. It's an operation for our occulta speculatoria. I have Lucullus. We have arrived as requested. By Jupiter. You are just as beautiful as your mother. This is the unique young woman I was telling you about, Thermos. Unique, you say? Look, I understand you feel indebted to her father, but... <laughs> I don't want to hear, but... You must trust me on this. She will be a great asset to my speculatories. What are the speculatories? A special cohort, assembled for particularly daring undertakings. Soon enough, you shall see the kind of thing they are tasked to carry out. You know, I want to find out. I was told there would be no fighting. Is it even permitted for women to fight? Who told you that? Listen, Claudiana is protective as a mother should be, but I know how your father raised you. You will not be best served by wandering this camp aimlessly for the duration of my campaign. Your skills make you far too valuable an asset to waste like that. Huh, gladly. The chance to prove myself is what I've come here for. <laughs> there will be ample opportunities for that, my young ward. A trial by fire is what you need. Now pay attention. We've been in a deadlock here on Lesbos for some time now. My co-consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotter, is engaged against King Mithridates of Pontus in the east. 
Mathedates is using the pirates of Lesbos as his navy. The fortress of Mytilene here is well protected, but it also has a weakness. There's a mountain pass we can utilize. I will lead the assault myself. I volunteer for the vanguard. If my uncle can defeat Pontus, I can surely handle Mutilene. So be it, then. Meanwhile, you will prove yourself as a leader, my young ward. Take Caeso, Quinctius Aquilinus, your servus Cineros, and that gladiator who came with you on the ship. You will meet up with Julius Calidus of my legion speculatories. Your mission is to sneak into the harbor and destroy the enemy ships any way you can. I expect you have questions. Will the legionari accept a woman taking command of them? You have nothing to fear from Julius Calidus. I know him well. You can trust him. Why can I not take part in the main assault, like Gaius? If you are fast, you may yet play a part in that. But for the assault to succeed, you must do this first. All of this is just a secondary operation to Coda's campaign? That doesn't make what we're doing any less important. Mithridates has a dozen warriors for each of our legionari. Defeating Pontus will require patience and caution. Regaining control of the Agaium Mari is a crucial step in cutting off Mithridates' supply lines. I'd prefer to choose my own people. Prove yourself, and you will be able to name your companions. However, you will want Kalidus on your team. Trust me. No more questions. I'll do what needs to be done. Wait. Are those your father's old weapons? I'm sure they mean a lot to you, but look. The leather is brittle. This won't do. Visit my smith, Sextus, and get yourself properly equipped before you go. When you're ready to leave the area, look for this icon to find an exit to the world map. Drown by fire. Okay. So, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Party management. Character stats. This screen shows the values that affect each character's performance, as well as their experience points and their personality traits. Experience is gained from completing quest objectives or erecting milestones on the world map. These are the character's combat stats. The values shown here include all bonuses from the character's skills and items. Hover over each stat to get a description of what it does. The character's personality traits determine which of your words or actions will cause a character to gain or lose approval for you. Perks give bonuses when assigned to certain tasks in the camp or when commanding the legion in battle. Interesting. Okay. So, the art of winning people over using stirring or rhetor rhetoric or emotional manipulation. Armor. Movement. And, oh, you can edit your name over time. Interesting. So, Scenario starts devoted to me. Quintius is loyal to me. Vestia is indifferent to me. Oh, so, oh, interesting. So these have perks. He values openness and truthfulness. Will typically disagree with cunning characters. Likes it when you assert your superiority over others. Will typically disagree with humble characters. Values aggressive words and actions and prefers never to shy away from a fight. Will typically disagree with conciliatory characters. Hmm, that's unfortunate. A talented recruiter will dramatically increase the chance of new recruits matching the level of skill of the legatus. A strong constitution downgrades the deterioration risk of any untreated injuries by one severity level. Likes actions that display open-mindedness to other peoples and cultures will typically disagree with warmongering characters. Approves when you show awareness of your shortcomings will typically disagree with arrogant characters, so he can't stand bestia, okay? Dislikes when you treat the op opposite gender as equals. Ooh, that should be interesting. Healers with this perk can heal themselves without a penalty to treatment speed. Self-treatment. A doctor can treat laceration, puncture, trauma, and fracture injuries. Very nice. Hedonistic. 
Wow, didn't pick that up from our first conversation. Likes partying, reveling, and having a good time. We typically disagree with stoic characters. Likes it when you question or disregard the gods. We typically disagree with superstitious characters. Values openness and truthfulness. Okay, we already talked about that. Constitution, agreeable. An agreeable person reacts twice as strongly to all actions that they approve of. So it should be easy to be able to build up his loyalty. Very, very nice. So do I get personality points over time? Or is it only your party members? The skill screen is where you purchase class skills and assign those skills to your hot bar. Here, you can see how many unspent skill points you have. Passive skills have a round icon, while active skills have a square icon. Active skills must be assigned to the skill bar to be used in combat. Oh, well, you know what? Let me save because I heard you cannot... There is no respec option in this game. So, you better get it right the first time. How do I get back to that menu? Is there a key for that? Aha, okay. Skills. Boop, 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 doo -doo. So, I have zero on spent points. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, so wait. You're going down defender. Boop, 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 boop. I have to figure out. All right, once I have skill points, I'll figure out if I want to keep them where they are or move over to something different. Yeah, I'll look through this on my spare time. Triage, what's this? This is the triage menu where you can treat injured Praetorians to prevent their untimely demise. You do not have any injured Praetorians at the moment. Cool, all right. Couple of people I can talk to here. Selway, my girl, do you need anything? I want to thank you. For saving my life. That is unnecessary. I just wish your father could see you like this. He would have been proud. Do you think I'm safe here? These people who attacked our villa, what did they find me? Calm your soul, child. There's nothing to be worried about. I am your Patronus now. No one will dare to harm you as long as I am alive. You and my father were close? We served together under Cornelius Sulla in the Social War. He was the most talented spy I've ever known. He taught me a lot about staying ahead of my enemies. I know. You're a natural fit for the occultus speculatories. If you're anything like your father, you'll even enjoy it. The people were here to fight. Are they pirates or rebels? Lesbos has rebelled against Rome. We call them pirates for political reasons. When in reality, these people are organized much like a navy. They are allied with Mithridates, Megas of Pontus. He is without a doubt the most dangerous enemy Rome has faced since Hannibal. How can Mithridates pose a threat against the might of Rome? Pontus is a strong nation. They have conquered Colchis, Cappadocia, and Bithynia. And these conquests have made them bold. Mithridates himself is a fascinating figure. They say he has rendered himself immune to poison. Hmm. This is not the first time Mithridates has fought Rome. My mentor, Cornelius Sulla, defeated him some years ago when he first invaded our province of Asia. Mithridates exploits the ebb and flow of the conflict between the factions of our Senate. He strikes when Rome is divided, like a vulture circling a wounded wolf. I will see you later, Patron. Can't talk to you, but I can talk to you. Solway. You are an interesting man, Gaius. Interesting? <laughs> I shall accept this as a compliment, but prepare to be disappointed. To the extent of my knowledge and ability, I shall try to be as helpful as I can. The first time I've traveled so far from home. Indeed. Staying in Rome became, shall we say, politically disadvantageous to me. That's why I left it. Like you, I've never been to Lesbos before. I did my homework, though, in case you have any questions. So what do you know about this island? Lesbos is one of the most important islands on this sea. Some cartographers call it the Horse Island, on account of its shape. Why are the pirates here? Location, I would guess. The island has countless coves and natural harbors for pirate ships to hide in. 
not to mention the massive fortress in Mutilene. Our army is vastly superior to these Greeks. I don't see why we can't simply wipe them out. Be that as it may, their position here is superior. Mutilene is right next to the sea, and their fleet brings them supplies constantly. It's a stalemate. There's something else I want to talk to you about. Of course. Do you think the Triarchus was working with the enemy? Does it matter? For the sake of this discussion, let us say he was a traitor. In the end, we are triumphant and the pirates are dead. The Triarchus, if indeed he worked with them, now knows he picked the wrong side. In a war like this, allegiances are rarely about ideology. The common person wants nothing more than to be on the winning side. And we have shown Geminus that the winning side is ours. This war camp looks like a town itself. Fascinating, isn't it? The Legion can build a fortified camp like this almost overnight. In my opinion, that is the foundation of Rome's military might. Let us talk later, guys. Wait. Listen. You seem trustworthy. I may have need for your help on a rather sensitive matter. Of course, guys. You can trust me. That is good to hear. Keep in mind the matter I'm about to mention is rather personal in nature. Your discretion would be appreciated. I've been keeping a detailed account of our journey ever since we left port. Shortly after our arrival, however, the journal went missing. I believe it to be stolen by one of the Kenturiones. Are you sure it was stolen? I'm reasonably sure. The journal might be misplaced, but I find this to be improbable since I write regularly. What makes you think it was a Centurio who stole it? I have seen a particular man walking out of my tent. As a matter of fact, I have already confronted him and he pretty much admitted his guilt. But if, what if he's lying? Admission is the king of all evidence. To what end would he incriminate himself? That doesn't make much sense. Why don't you simply walk up to this Centurio and retrieve your property yourself? That I have already tried. He threatened me in a way. He said if I continue bothering him, he would read the contents of my journal publicly. And the journal includes admissions of certain actions you're not proud of? I can stand by my decisions, and I'm proud of my actions. It's just that I don't want some donkey-headed brute reciting them in public. This is a serious accusation, and they're true, a serious crime. We should inform the Primus Pilus. Roman law is valid in Rome, and our perpetrator knows this. This is a personal matter, and therefore it should be solved personally. Very well. Tell me what I could do for you. The Kenturio is called Agrippa, I think. He hangs out with his friends near the tent over there. I thought perhaps you could convince him to hand over my journal. Needless to say, I would like to keep the contents of the journal private. I would appreciate if you'd refrain from reading it. Interesting. Okay. Let's see, I don't know if this game has any sort of setup where I'm supposed to open containers or things of that nature. Doesn't seem like it thus far. Nothing over there. Anybody I could talk to here? Opened. Okay. Anything I'm supposed to pick up or talk to? Doesn't look like it. That's the exit. The pirates are getting bolder. They attacked another one of our galleys this morning. Geminus tell you to? That's right. This is the second time his galley's been attacked, and yet he still lives. Hmm. Nothing pick up there. Sextus. Oh, that's the uh, smithy guy. Ooh. And... Okay, a lot of characters here. But it's been an hour. I take back what I said at the beginning. I'm not going to do a poll. I want to play this game. <laughs> so we are going to go ahead and play through this. Hopefully the quality keeps up. But I actually really enjoyed that first hour. 
Hope all of you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like down below, share this content, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.